Ladies and gentlemen, do you ever find it interesting that the Washington Post doesn't have a detailed account of which Facebook ads influenced people in swing states? Or how many votes were altered by the DNC emails that showed that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Democrats cheated Bernie Sanders, thus forcing Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign? We're told that the Russians interfered in the election. How? How? Well, well, Facebook ads is a sophisticated social media campaign. Then why did Hillary Clinton win the popular vote? Which one is it? So they brag about the popular vote. Then they say, well, Russia cheated us. Well, then, then did Russia focus target Facebook ads in swing states? And which swing states? Why don't we have a detailed account from the Washington Post of which Facebook ads swung voters in swing states? Because apparently the Facebook ads didn't didn't phase the electorate. She outspent Trump two to one, which is why um, Clinton won the pot. She one point two billion to six hundred million, which is why she's running again. Nobody there can even come close to six hundred million. Warren doesn't even have a base of support throughout the country to give her six or seven hundred million. Trump is on his way to two billion. But the point is, which one is it? We're told two things at once. We're told they interfered and we needed a probe and we needed a special counsel because the Russians might have worked with Trump because of a dossier Clinton purchased and it was signed off by, by, uh, 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 by judges. They say, well, yeah, the exculpatory evidence, which was basically the fact that none of it was true, was withheld from the judge, the judge did not know that Hillary Clinton had, had purchased the dossier. The judge also didn't know the dossier was compiled, allegedly, with help from one Russian intelligence official. The only collusion was Clinton and Russia, not Trump. But you get this now, the, these absurd articles. James Comey helped save democracy when he wrote his memos. So you have a, a, a the N, the NBC and MSNBC legal uh, analyst. She's like she goes, she quotes this this guy Harry Littman who wrote this article. A huge fire had broken out, and Horowitz is now casting Comey, castigating Comey for using a non-compliant fire extinguisher. No, a fire never broke out. The only the only reason people think a fire or some kind of hack took place is because CrowdStrike stated so. Crowds, the U.S. government is still, if you look at the ODNI and DHS reports, still highly confident but not certain. The U.S. government has never stated with certainty any of this took place. And we know from Admiral, Mike, Admiral Michael Rogers of the NSA that not one vote was altered in swing states. So the entire, they didn't interfere. Okay, Russia did not interfere in the election. We do not know how many votes were altered by Facebook ads that were seen primarily after the election and that also went after Trump. Bernie Sanders was cheated. The DNC emails were not just embarrassing. They showed a fraud, and he was, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign in disgrace. Facebook ads, nobody saw the Facebook ads. They can't give you another reason, another way that the Russians infiltrated and hurt Hillary. And by the way, why would the Russians want to hurt Hillary Clinton when Vladimir Putin had Bill Clinton at his home outside of Moscow in 2010, and he got a half a million dollar speaking gig? And, uh, oh, let's see, money flowed to the Clinton Foundation amid the Russian uranium deal. That's ca cash flowed to Clinton. That's a New York Times verbatim article. So it's unbelievable. They don't care. If they won't answer the question, why did money flow into the Clinton Foundation from Russian, from, from Uranium One executives? Then the company's purchased by Russia. And then Russia eventually owns 20% of U.S. uranium capacity. I mean, how does that happen? With Clinton on the... Uh, on the uh, on the Committee on Foreign Investment. But here, let's just read this. This is, this is typical nonsense. James Comey helped save democracy when he wrote his memo. So Andrew McCabe is going to get indicted. Andrew McCabe is going to get indicted any day now. Once that happens, this in, the entire rotten edifice is going to come crashing down. Then they're going to rally around Andrew McCabe. Even though he committed crimes, the same crime, actually more egregious crimes, 
because his wife took hundreds of thousands of dollars from Terry McAuliffe. And Democrats, he should have not been investigating Clinton or Trump, but he didn't recuse himself from either. He recused himself from the Clinton email investigation like two days before, or two weeks before the, uh, the, the election. But anyway, James Comey helped save democracy when he wrote his memos. This is, now, this is democracy in darkness. Democ- democracy perishes in darkness. The Washington Post, are you kidding me? This is Orwellian. This is exactly what George Orwell talks about in Animal Farm and 1984. This is right here, doublespeak. This is the most transparent example of propaganda. I mean, here's a guy who, Comey utilized the FBI, and I write about this in The Federalist. He utilized the FBI and, and should be charged under the statute, 18, the 18 U.S. Code 371 statute. What he did was simply preside over setting up and framing President Trump. There's a reason there was never any evidence to link Trump to any criminal act. Then they say, well, there's no evidence, but then there's obstruction. They always fall back. This deceit is not sustainable. You can't continue to, to sustain all of this. It's not, they, can't, they can't continue to do this. It's not sustainable. But you have somebody who continually violated, continually broke FBI rules, and he did so for self-serving purposes. And now I'll get to the I'll get to the segment, but it's just I, I'm like I I can't believe this. So they they published this article. Okay, so former FBI director Comey failed to do his uh, dot his eyes and cross his t's. No, 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 no. He took classified information, put it in a safe, and then leaked the information that he, fa- he, he, he determined wasn't classified to people to start a special counsel based on no evidence that Trump worked with Russia because James Clapper stated there was no evidence after he left the, the United States government that Trump had worked with Russia. I wrote about that in The Federalist as well. So I, I love how they mitigate everything. Okay, so former FBI Director James Comey failed to dot his I's and cross his T's in creating and retaining memos detailing his private conversations with President Trump during the months between... Trump's inauguration and his sacking of Comey on May 9th, 2017. Why would the author assume that Comey's memos were accurate? Comey lied under oath. He said he didn't. Uh, he waited until Clinton and, and others were interviewed before deciding not to not to indict Clinton. And, and it was only it wasn't even his job to to do so. It was Loretta Lynch's job. And he, someone's lying under oath because he said that Loretta Lynch told him to call it a matter. The Clinton email investigation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Steele dossier was purchased by Clinton. A crowd strike was outsourced by Democrats. Alexander Downer was uh, a Clinton Foundation, helped, helped raise money for the Clinton Foundation from Australia, Australian diplomat. If the tables were turned, they would never allow those conflicts of interest to start a probe into Clinton. If the tables were turned and it was all Trump, those, those, the, the conflicts of interest pertaining to Trump, they would never use that for, uh, to, to obtain FISA warrants. James Comey has to answer for his his name on a FISA warrant. Andrew McCabe has his name on all four, I believe. The issue, the report issued on Thursday by Justice Department Inspector General Michael Horowitz found that Comey broke no laws and did not release any classified information. Uh, no, first of all, he was the IG actually recommended prosecution. So the IG recommended prosecution. Okay. He did not really cl- release classified. He kept he mishandled classified information because he 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 took it out of the FBI. He could he took these this classified information out of the FBI and put it in a safe at home. Any other person would have been charged. Again, Comey is needed very likely against McCabe because he already offered to testify against McCabe. What he doesn't understand is that he's continually poking the the bear. He's he's flaunting his criminality. This is under 18 U.S. Code 371. If, when you conspire to defraud against the United States government, he utilized the United States government against, against a duly elected president and before that, a candidate, simply because he didn't like the candidate. And then, you know, his memos have become like this, this you know, these holy, this holy scripture to Democrats and to, to liberals in the media. And it doesn't matter if someone's a legal analyst. They, they don't view things with intent here. They, in their minds, any attorney looking at this 
and saying Comey did nothing wrong, they truly believe that Russia never hacked Clinton's server with top secret and special access program intelligence on servers outside of the United States government. They truly believe that she didn't transfer those, those top secret and special access program emails in an illegal manner. They truly believe that Comey had no bias when it came to Clinton's email investigation. And they believe that there was no intent on trying to go after Trump. Because after all, James Comey and Clapper and Brennan all stated that, that, that the DNC was hacked. Even though even James Comey said, yeah, we wanted to get the DNC uh, servers, but they wouldn't let us. So we trusted CrowdStrike, which was outsourced by the Democratic Party. But, Hor but Horowitz took Comey to task for retaining the memos rather than leaving them with the FBI when he departed. The inspector general concluded the memos were public records, not personal documents. That's against the law. You can't do that. Horowitz also uh, larded, his, larded <laughs> his report with civic lessons on the rule of law and dangerous examples in Comey's failure to, strict, to strictly follow FBI guidelines. Not to strictly follow. He didn't follow any FBI guidelines. He just leaked information. And this is what they always do. He didn't leak the information. He gave it to his, 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 uh, his associate, Richmond. There's a strong sensation of outrage in Horowitz's report, which the New York Times categorizes as blistering. The problem with the report is that it gives almost no weight to the context in which Comey acted. A, fa a failing Horowitz aggravates uh, a, fa a failing Horowitz aggravates with his hall monitor erected. Oh, here we go again. If it's Trump who wins an election, there's no evidence he worked with anyone to, to, to purchase Facebook ads or hack the DNC. The Steele dossier is completely debunked. Nobody was charged from the Steele dossier. Nobody was indicted from the Steele. In fact, people, the only Ru Russian nationals were indicted based on CrowdStrike assessments, Company 1. The U.S. government is still confident. It is not certain and is never verified because you can't verify if you, you don't see the DNC servers. How can you verify information derived from DNC servers if you don't see the servers? You're relying on a CrowdStrike assessment. Because the context was extraordinary. When a president summons the FBI director to demand loyalty, how do you know it happened, buddy? And then urges the director during a second criminal uh, conversation to drop a criminal investigation against an ally. What criminal investigation? Flynn never committed a crime. These people are out of their minds. Flynn never committed a crime. He was only, he was only indicted on allegedly lying to Peter Strzok, who said, we will stop Trump. So this is the this is the this is the uh, the uh, paragraph here. How do you know the that the FBI director was 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 uh, told to be loyal from Comey's memos? You might as well read Harry Potter or um, Dr. Seuss or whatever. You'll probably get more uh, accurate information about Comey and Trump and President Trump's meeting. In that setting, Comey, uh, Comey's instinct to immediately memorialize the conversation in written memorandum was spot on. No, if he, if he felt that he was being told to do something illegal, he should have resigned. But he didn't. Why? Because there wasn't anything illegal going on. There wasn't anything illegal. You don't just... You're not, you're, you don't, you're not sitting next to a drug dealer and watching the, the drug deal go down. You know, I'm going to memorialize this so uh, in case that, uh, you know, the cops say that I was an uh, accomplice. I'm just going to memorialize everything. It, it, that doesn't happen. Horowitz argues that Comey could have uh, served his purpose by leaving the memos of the FBI, but then making vague public statements about his belief that, that they should uh, lead to an appointment of special counsel. First of all, the special counsel was an egregious... One of the one of the most um, unjust. It was an example of the Constitution being just torn apart. You can't. I mean, Trump's Fourth Amendment rights. His. Um, you you can't you can't utilize a document purchased by a political rival to begin an investigation based on no evidence from the intelligence community or anyone else that that he that he committed a crime. You can't do that. 
There's no way you could do that. Then it goes on to say, oh, well, you know, the context, the context, the context, the context. The possibility the Trump administration could have kept those memos from coming to light. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's just his recollections anyway. The bigger issue is stake with the proper handling of government records. Even if Comey deserved his knuckle wrapping, he helped save democracy when he created the memos and provided them to the public. How? They're, fic- they're, they're fiction. They're pure fiction. They're, they're, the, they're the ramblings of a lying, deceptive, reptilian, slimy creature. Comey should not be trusted. He already lied under oath. He stated numerous times that um, that it was a unanimous decision not to charge Clinton, and James Baker wanted to charge Clinton up until the final moments of the decision not to charge her. So did Lisa Page. So, I mean, how did it save democracy? You, This was... Okay, the, the, the Mueller probe was, it was yet another failure, a failed attempt by the Democratic Party to go after Trump. Not only was he insubordinate in the first IG report, but he flaunted and just broke protocol and regulation left and right regarding classified material. And what he did was illegal, taking classified material and putting it in his safe. And he deliberately, which is under 18 U.S. Code 371, and I share, and Rush Limbaugh shared one of my articles that, hap- that talked about Clinton being basically the center of all of this. She's running again. She, she's running again. They ain't going with Biden or anyone else. Okay, and this is all for Clinton. You think that all of these people have ruined their reputations forever, slash McKay being indicted, uh, all of these people, B- Baker will, b- will very, very likely be next. You think all these people went to such lengths to ensure that Warren or Biden becomes president? No, no. The, the, the Washington paradigm, the liberal Washington paradigm is run and controlled by two people. It's an extension of Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. And we've been talking about Bill's extension since the 90s, and it is finally, this is their chance. Ever wonder why the Democratic Party uh, has only people that you, you're like, what? They, they, they can't win an election. They, they, she's going to come into the race soon after uh, the third debate, probably a month, two months after, maybe sooner. Okay, the third debate is the end of September. Give me your thoughts below. Literally, Washington Post is saying, um, he's helped save democracy. With what? We have, you got 30 indictments of people ruining their lives. Michael Flynn, by the way, should be pardoned tomorrow. He did nothing wrong. They already reviewed his calls with Sergey Kislyak. I write in the Federalist he should be pardoned. This, this paragraph right here is very important. The paragraph that says, well, you know, uh, uh, when a president summons the FBI director to demand loyalty, says who? This is, this is the, the ramblings of somebody that under 18 U.S. Code 371 helped f- help steer the ship when it came to uh, conspiring and defrauding the American people. The individuals like Comey who utilize the United States government against political opponents, <laughs> that's a crime. You can't do that. You can't continually hide and say, well, we just didn't know. Well, we just didn't know. Yeah, you knew. You knew exactly what you were doing because you took the steps to set up and frame people. You found, here's, here's, the, here's the bottom line. They found nothing. They found absolutely nothing. Give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel. I have a segment about Tim Pool. That, that, and I, I love Tim Pool. I think he's fantastic. Um, someone tried to break into his house the other night. And I, this is, I'm just urging him to please take care of himself and embrace the Second Amendment. Ladies and gentlemen, Washington Post is at it again. Give me your thoughts. Andrew McCabe's going to get indicted. Clinton's going to run for president. And Comey, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt Comey getting indicted eventually. And I, I believe he will. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so very, very much.